March 6th, 61, until April the 21st, 61. Picasso had to add some color to the lithograph that was uh, commissioned by the Morlo family. Well, that was in 61. In 91, um, I was down in Venice Beach, California, and I had taken some acid, and uh, I was having a nice time at Van Gogh's Ear, which is a cafe just across the beach, playing chess. And um, anyways, I walked out of the cafe nice and high, and I, it was all foggy outside. And this Mexican, who I had known to be kind of mean to people around there, he came up to me and he said, Hey man, what's in the bag? I want to see, tell me what's in the bag. And uh, I just left. I ran. Um, and there was nothing in my bag. It was just a sleeping bag. <laughs> but I didn't think things were going to get good between him and I. And uh, I took off. And I ran down Wilshire Boulevard. No, I ran to Santa Monica. By the time I got to Santa Monica, which was like two hours later, maybe it wasn't that long, I saw Wilshire Boulevard and the sun was coming up. And so I thought, okay, I'll just walk east because I haven't been to Hollywood yet. So I kept on walking and I wound up about two or three hours later, midday, I think it was, and uh, uh, it was on Rodeo Drive. And I thought, okay, I've never been here before. I've seen it on television. I'm going to check it out. Beverly Hills. And uh, I wound up at this... <laughs> keep winding up at places <laughs> and then there was this art gallery and the only art gallery that I had ever been to was the one in Vancouver the Vancouver Art Gallery which is you know it's public it's subsidized government run but this one was private and I thought okay cool I'll check it out and the first thing I saw were all these Picassos these Picasso like etched lithographs and they had uh they were like Picasso he had done his clowns and um, other stuff. So I thought, okay, cool. What's the prices on these? And I couldn't afford anything, but the, the, the average price was about a thousand bucks. I remember thinking there's no way I'm going to be able to afford a thousand dollars ever in my life. And even if I did, um, all I would do, I would take this lithograph, this piece of art from Picasso and put it in like the dashboard of a pickup truck. That's what I saw. Maybe because there was like some lithographs that he had done of pickup trucks. I don't know. And that was 91. Well, 26 years later, I had uh, some good, uh, fortunate experiences with money. And after a flight from New Zealand to Los Angeles, I thought, okay, maybe, I'll, maybe it's the time to actually check that out. So I went over, I walked over to, um, somehow I got to Beverly Hills and uh, the gallery um, was no longer there. And I found another one just down the street, and they said, we were that gallery. Gallery Michael, I think it is. And um, I asked, they, I figured it out, and I was like, wow, this is the same place, it just moved down the road. And I bought a Picasso that night, and this is the one that I bought. And uh, it was colorful. Like, there's a story behind this whole um, lithograph here and I chose the one with color because well it's good to have some color in life originally this was a black and white and again like Morlo said and it's written somewhere in one of his autobiographies or in a biography of Picasso that Morlo the commissioner of this work originally black and white asked Picasso to add some color to it and uh, that's the story the story's titled Picasso on Acid.